Hello, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com, and today I wanted to speak about teaching and gifts versus certifications. Naturally, we all have a gift. Every one of us, we have something that we're good at, something that we love, something that we're passionate about, we're driven about or driven by and no matter what we're facing in life no matter what challenges nothing keeps us from being the best at that thing that we do and sometimes all we have is the training of our life experiences that have drawn out and have allowed us to tap deep within us to find what we're good at and you can also take that gift and you can become certified, okay? You may be a person on the subject of teaching. You may be a person who is naturally gifted at teaching. You know how to teach. You take an interest in teaching others. You take your time to assess your audience and respect that each person has a different learning style. And you take that into consideration as you are planning your lessons, as you speak to and deal with challenges in the classroom with your students or instructor-teacher relationship issues with students. Um, during the learning process, you take it very seriously how you teach your students as well as their ability to learn. Now, when I'm referring to teaching, that could be in a classroom setting or it could be teaching in a completely different industry. We have teachers outside of the classrooms that are in the health industry that are in the entertainment industry some people are just naturally gifted at teaching others what they do and how to do what they want to do or need to do and you can be anywhere in the world okay you can be in any industry and what is important is understanding that all teachers, no matter what setting or environment you're in, have some level of compassion. And they just have a different perception. They see things differently. They see the students, okay? Remember, you can be in the business industry, okay? And you have certifications in the business industry, Yet, you are a compassionate, driven, focused leader, and you lead by teaching, and you see your business partners or your co-workers or your mentees as people who are your students. And so, I want to take that in consideration that every teacher has... A special unique calling if you will where they have a group of individuals to which they're assigned and that group of people that they deal with they look for problems in a different manner they assess situations in a different way it's like a natural assessment no matter what grade or what age your students in life, you see them as an assignment for you. You see them as important, unique people who deserve an opportunity to learn, deserve an opportunity to be trained. You want to be able to find, you see them as individuals that you're tasked to take to another level. You're there to show them their greatness. You're there to pull that greatness out of them. You don't just see them as somebody who you're credentialed and you're gonna show them and guide them, but they need to just 
figure it out on their own. Does that play a part? Absolutely. At some point along the journey, yes, they will experience that. But as a teacher, as a mentor, you feel called or led to guide them, to instruct them, to show them the way, to help them see things in their selves, themselves that they cannot see. They haven't identified yet. You're there to bring out of them the greatness that exists in them. And so their failure is not your success. It's not just about, oh, well, I'm credentialed. I'm where I need to be and I know how to teach. I'm skilled. I'm this and that. And very well you may be. But the gifted teacher sees the failing student and says, wait a minute, maybe there's something about this student where they didn't understand something. Do I need to assess deeper? Do I need to reach them in a different way? Or do they require help that I can't give them? And I need to guide them? You have a responsibility to show that student not only what they don't know about what they're learning, but what they don't know about who they are, who they can be in that industry and in the world. And that's a big responsibility. And everyone... Some people can say, oh, well, I don't, I don't have that kind of patience. I don't have that kind of, that's not what I'm here to do. Then you're not who I'm talking to, really, about this subject. Because this particular subject is about that unique mentor, about that special person who is different, who has the ability and the natural, genuine care Yes, it's difficult. Yes, you don't have time. Yes, you're not getting paid to do this. But you just feel it. It's an internal feeling that you have. An internal ability that you have naturally to see, to assess, and to drive and inspire and motivate and encourage someone who doesn't have what it takes at the surface but deep down there's something there and sometimes you are the person who discovers that sometimes you discover that missing link sometimes you discover that difference that thing that is difficult for that person, that is hard for that person, and you're able to naturally guide them. Remember, it doesn't matter the age. You're able to see them, and their failure appears, appears, not is, appears to be your failure. You don't just say, oh, well, you know, they're failing, and they're not doing well, and I did my job. No. No. It's deeper than that. And for those who I'm specifically talking to, it is deeper than that. You are called to a bigger purpose that is attached to you as well. It's not just about your students. It's not just about your mentees. It's not just about what it is that you're looking at on the surface, it's so much deeper. And you have every ability, every capability, every strength necessary. Every challenge can be overcome because you have what it takes. You're it. You are the it factor. And you help the student discover they're the it factor. So I just want to give a shout out to all of the teachers of the world in every single industry, in the classroom, the educational system, 
in the business world, in the healthcare industry, in all the different industries that exist in the entertainment world. I want to give a shout out to every person who takes time to invest in their students, in those people who they know has something or they know and they identify that something is just not right here. And instead of just throwing it to the side and moving on and I did my job or I'm not here for that, you take on the task, you take on the challenge to do a little bit more research, to dig a little deeper, to find out, is there something going on here? Is there something that's blocking this person from their greatness? Is it something that is hindering this person from their ability? Do they understand? Is there a misunderstanding issue here? Not just zero and go on about your business. What What's going on here? If they didn't understand, then what did you sit down and talk with them one-on-one, no matter what age? Did you sit down and talk with them and find out what happened? Yes, you talk and you know you did a good job. And yes, you know that this person was listening or they weren't actively listening. They were all over the place. Okay, well, what are you doing with that knowledge? You know that they're all over the place. And you know that that will hinder their ability to learn and receive. So what are you doing about it? Not just, well, that's not my problem. Dig a little deeper. There's a reward in it for you and for that student. This is for all industries, all age groups, all teachers, all students. I hope that everyone is able to receive this positive message with good intention and take it into action and make the difference that you know can be made. This is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com.